I gotta go get Fuller. And Sherry. Yeah, go, go, go. Which one? I remember when it originally came out, um, people presented it as a way to help you keep focused by giving you something to do. Yeah, but I personally found it like as a distraction for myself. Yeah, I love the Shannon's presentation. Good, I'm gonna go see his. Part of the reason why it's not as popular as it was, was two years ago. Alright. Yeah, it was originally meant for people with ADHD and Go. My name is Deshani Smith. This is my favorite thing that the Sakai did was the Zoom motorcycle. It's an all the to be about guys that not require gas and one and a half. Two and a half. Now, what do you mean this is a lot of fun. Yeah. Maybe this motorcycle would have to be a little bit of a spy from this football. Sorry. You're going to be so much. It's so fun. Go. My name is Shannon Smith. He helped me get this. My team player of engineering, Neil Sakai. Now, what did Neil Sakai do? He invented the car electric motorcycle. He did not call it the Zero motorcycle, but it's a brand zero motorcycle. He has, he currently has four models. He has the DS, the DSR. He has the S. Now what? What? You got it. Go ahead. Now what improvements did it make for the electric vehicle? It is. Some of these motorcycles can even go up to 218 miles in one charge. It gives you better, it gives you better performance. It's more durable. Some of the batteries need to be lasted. Now, what problems did it solve? Less pollution in the air. The highest amount of money that you pay for the gas. You don't have any engine problems in the only by checking it out. Now, what obstacles do you have Some of the obstacles that we're going to have to find the right technology to make sure that the motorcycle works properly. And then you also have to build with new calls when the motorcycle does not work Some of the science behind this motorcycle is induction. Because induction is a change of mechanical energy to use it. So this can come from being full, reusable energy, and electricity. And so much fun to find this bike, I'll start with the clothes, because you don't have to pay for gas. You have a very good bike that you get a five-year warranty. And then plus, you can, have, you can charge it in your home. Some of the things are that is the charging time. Because the charging time is so long. Sometimes you have to deal with charging your bike for eight and a half hours. But if you get the brand new, the brand new battery, it's called the ZFS. I believe it's the ZFS. So it's the ZFS. With its power tank, you can charge your bike in one and a half hours. But that's not the only bike that's all I should that's very mainstream. We have the Energy Ego, which is a bike that like it. it can dish out more torque than a 1,000 cc bike. And also, sure. and also it can dish out 150 miles per hour. Now I'd like to thank you for being part of my Tell me about your project, Kendra.
Made out of just paper. Uh, this is our cardboard model, made out of uh, cardboard uh, rubber bands and sticks. And this is our final model, made out of uh, rubber foam, uh, sticks, and plastic bags. Why the octagon shape? So what about the shape? Does that make it a problem-solving thing? How is it problem-solving? It's a problem-solving because it's supposed, what it's supposed to do is keep in the corners. There's a lot of corners that it's easier for the fighters to get out other than the four corners in wrestling where they just get trapped there. That's why they have a referee that counts them and gives them another fighters that keep them in the corner five seconds. Mr. Dunn. You know, Kim Jong, Kim Jong On follows me on YouTube. You know that, right? Yeah, no, he right. doesn't. No way. I'm, I'm gonna go check right now. Someone with that name follows him. Oh, oh. That looks like Nathan if he fell off. <laughs> <laughs> if you gain weight. If you gain weight. Shush. Presentation. Fight. Shh. Shush. Yeah, so what do you say? It's like the that like when you slice this energy it's not like we're running out like green and rock raw materials, it's just because like a lot of people don't want to find it. It's one, that's a lot of time and energy, time and money, up to like nine million dollars, two. I think it's like really dangerous, which it like it does affect the society, I mean the world, the environment, but like compared to why was Since like it doesn't produce greenhouse gas emissions, it is essential for like a Thank you.
So Tom Campbell actually made it to the game developer 50, which is the top 50 game developer in search of all time in 2019. health, texture, sound volume, etc. Now, what they actually do is they just get the texture files, sound files, etc. and they implement it into the actual coding of the game to make the minions come to life. Here's the actual architecture of the game. They use JavaScript, C++, RTMP, library, in order to actually get the bug fixes and in order to implement new characters, games, skins, etc. into the platform. Now, the reason that Tom Gabriel is a key player of engineering is because he completely changed the MMO scene. MMOs were only really falling off before League of Legends was made, and people weren't really playing them as much. So, what Tom Gabriel did was he got a small package from the game. So, he got a small package from World of Warcraft, and it was kind of like a mini game that people liked to play. So, what Tom Gabriel did was he actually got the game and made it into an entirely separate new game. He made it into an entirely separate new Sounds game, good. and people really liked it, so he kept updating the game, adding like new transactions, skins, new characters, and that completely changed recreation for everyone, and just MMO games in general. So that's our presentation. Yay, thank you. Air one. Bring your computer and the charger back to the planet. Water? Water? 
Thank you guys. We've come to the end of our presentation. What'd you think? It was horrible. This one I saw was the uh, worst one. No, I didn't even get to that one yet. Because I feel important. Let me be a part of this. Right. So anyway, thank you for joining us for KPOE. We're going to say goodbye to this guy. He's leaving us after this next week. Bye. Bye. I am from Dios. So anyway, Bye -bye. from all of us here, Wait, do you, and even Diego. Do you sometimes question your friendship with Mr. Matthews? Never. All right, so this is Matthew's time, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, guess He's what? He's a Trump supporter. No, just had a Trump time. All right, thanks for joining us. Peace.